All right, guys, today we are talking about Copper John's Beard Company. Got some new scents to review for you guys. And there's also a really good deal going on right now, which I'm going to talk about. Uh, but first, welcome. My name is Brian. This is my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel, where we try to help you grow your best beard possible. Thank you for joining me. I hope you've had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I know I did. I ate way too much. Um, but today we're talking about Copper John's Beard Company. I really love what Tyson's doing over there. And now uh, they've added only another owner as well, part owner, uh, Casey. Uh, which I, I knew already from the community and they're just doing some great things they've got some good products they're really active in the community actually have their own uh youtube channel so check out the copper john's youtube channel i'll put a link below if you're watching this uh in a timely fashion i've been on there a couple of different times he did a mullet competition and no, I didn't compete in it, but I, I was the judge and actually doing a beard competition uh, on uh, the channel this Sunday night. And I'm going to be judge on that as well. So that's kind of uh, fun. So just a, just a good time over there. They really enjoy being part of the uh, community. Uh, and they've got good products. And we're going to be talking about those. I actually have some, uh, I've done a couple of reviews, but we've got the Great Oil Series. And we're going to compare that to the uh, regular line. And then we're also going to be looking at a couple of new scents that I have not talked about on the channel. Uh, specifically, we've got Woodland Reverence. And then we've got uh, Fowler's. And we've got Bourbon Bayou. All right. Oh, and by the way, we're going to be doing a giveaway as well. So hold tight for the end. I'll tell you about an oil I'm going to be giving away to, to a lucky viewer here. Um, so what do we talk about first? Let me talk about Fowler's first. So Fowler's is a little bit different than any of the other scents that Tyson uh, has offered because this one is all essential oils. It's collaboration with uh, an outdoorsman whose last name is Fowler. I'm not familiar with uh, who that is, but the um, scent profile is cedar wood and white fur. And that's exactly what you get. All right. So um, it's like you're out in the woods and you have cut up with a chainsaw and you cut up a cedar tree and you've got your hands and down in there and you are loading it onto a truck or you're pulling the branches away. You're smelling your hands. That's exactly what I get from that. So I know some guys will love that. They like the outdoors, the natural smelling scents. That's one you want to get, which is Fowler's. And then that is, uh, there's also another, I think this is a collaboration. I do see, I see the little logo on there. That's for, uh, it's kind of hard to see, but there's a little logo there, which is Bearded Motivation. My friend Dave, his, um, uh, his logo, by the way, for some reason on the YouTube algorithm has picked up on the uh, Beard Advice series that I did many moons ago. Uh, Dave was one of the first guys I featured on that. And for some reason, the YouTube algorithm has picked up on it. And it's just like slow, it's now it's kind of just slow growth, which is kind of weird. A lot of times the uh, videos don't really do that. They just kind of they get the views and then they kind of stay stagnant. This one, for some reason, YouTube likes it. So go check that out. And that's the first time we called Dave Hollywood Dave because we compared his beard to uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, but that was a fun uh, episode. So go back and check that out. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, it's been a long time since we did that, but this one's called Woodland Reverence. And this was woodsy, but kind of in a different way. So this one is bergamot, eucalyptus, thyme, basil, topsoil, iris, amber, and cedar. And when I smell this one, I get the fragrance oil kind of blend. It's nice, smooth, maybe a little bit on like a lemony kind of side to it. It's probably the basil and stuff in it, but some more, uh, a little bit more on the um, not essential oil like the uh, Fowler's, but more on the fragrance oil, which I usually don't tend to like. But then it's got topsoil in it. And as soon as you put it in your hands and warm it up, you get like a burst of dirt that matches the other scent that you get out of the bottle and it kind of mixes together and smooths out and that's kind of the blend you get um pretty strong on that one that one lasts a good while um the fowlers because it's essential does not last that long all right so that one you get that burst of cedar uh goodness and then it uh, smooths out all right uh, let's see what we got next so next up we've got uh bourbon bayou and bourbon bayou uh, you're either going to love it or you're going to hate it. And I'll tell you which one it was for me in just a minute. But this one is Nag Champa, which is like your incense, smoke, uh, tobacco, orange, bourbon, cedar, and honey. 
And that's what you get. You can smell those things in there. If you've never smelled Nag Champa, it's like incense. Um, the closest thing I can relate to it in my brain is like a nutmeg kind of smell. And then you mix that with tobacco, orange, a little bit of orange, bourbon, cedar, honey. You get all of that. This scent is not for me. Uh, it smells, uh, I think the idea was like you walk into, a, you're going down Bourbon Street in uh, New Orleans and you go into a, uh, one of the stores in there that's got all kinds of knickknacks and stuff up on the wall. Not necessarily voodoo kind of stuff, but it, it's kind of the vibe you get. And I think that's exactly what they were going for. I know my friend Andy that I uh, had the Grumpy Bearded Men series. He loves it. Uh, I don't. I do not like it at all. I almost washed it out of my beard, but I made it through. All right. But that's not my kind of scent. Let me know if you like those kind of scents, incense um, type of deals. Uh, it's a kind of earthy. Once again, pretty strong scent on that one. Uh, but I also have to compare with you guys is the difference between the oils. So we've got the Gray Beard series, uh, which is the Bourbon Bayou is in. And then you've got the regular line, which is what the Woodland Reverence is in right now. So if we compare them, the uh, regular oil is jojoba, meadow foam, argan. Uh, coconut, almond, sunflower, apricot, castor, vitamin E, and then uh, they always put in the ionic sea minerals, uh, inland sea minerals. And then for the gray beard line, it's uh, pr pretty different. It's jojoba still, but then it's got castor and argan, camellia sea, which is different, coconut, uh, olive oil, which is different. And once again, it's got the ionic sea minerals. Uh, they both work for me. I don't necessarily like one a whole lot better than the other. Um, so to me, they're pretty similar. If you've tried both, let me know if you can tell a huge difference in which one you prefer. Um, normally, it's, um, well, I don't know what it is normally. I think it's $19.95 and $21.95. So the gray one uh, is $2 more. But I forgot to tell you guys, we've got a great sale going on. I have a ban uh, affiliate code, which is Banjo15. Right now, through the end of uh, Sunday night, uh, you can get 30% off if you use my code. So that will get this uh, this one down to $13.96 and the Gray Series line down to $15.37. So make sure you check into that if you are interested in purchasing from Copper Johns. Now's a good time to do that. All right, so the butters. I've got a Mountain River butter here and then I've got the, uh, the Gray Line butter uh, in the... What is this one? This was the police. All right. So the difference between these is not very much. I was a little bit surprised when I started getting ready for the video here. So for the regular oil or butter, excuse me, it's shea, jojoba, meadow foam, coconut, argan, vitamin E, and the ionic sea minerals. And for the gray beard line, it's the exact same thing plus castor oil. And it's $2 more. So I, it, there may be a uh, difference. Um, proportions and ratios used. Uh, Tyson can probably uh, talk about that down in the comments. I'm sure he'll chime in on that one. I can't really tell that much difference in my beard. They're pretty much the same thing. So uh, they're both two ounces, it says. This one's a really nice thick glass container. So that's probably part of the cost. But other than that, I don't know if it's worth $2 more. Uh, maybe it is because you can only get certain scents. So if you're trying to get the bourbon bayou scent and you want it in the butter, you kind of have to have uh, the gray series because that's all it comes in. So anyway, let me know in, your com in the comments what you guys think about the different butters to see if you can tell a difference. I could not. Uh, a couple of the other scents there. The polies is the bergamot, uh, basil, oak moss, white patchouli, and cherry almond. And that one is in the gray beer line. And for that one, you get a, a kind of like a, a old school kind of cologne because it's got that little bite to it. And then you kind of get on the back end a little bit of that cherry almond. Uh, so that one works well if you like kind of old school traditional uh, colognes. And then they also have Skipper in the gray beer line. Uh, I think that's a Dan C collab because it is lemon lime with a twist, which is definitely a Dan C scent. I see his logo on here. Uh, I like this one as well. Uh, what's the twist? I don't know. To me, it's twisting up Sprite and Mountain Dew. So there's your Sprite and Mountain Dew one. Um, it's called Skipper. A couple of my other ones that I have tried. I tried last cast. That one is coconut and something and acai. Uh, that one was okay for me, but there was a, it, I kind of got at the time I was tired of coconut kind of fruity scents. A lot of stuff was coconut fruity scents. Mountain River is one of my favorites from Copper John's. And that one is smoky orange and cedar, which is exactly what you get. 
You don't get, it's not really smoke like campfire smoke or wood smoke or anything like that, but there's something to it that makes it like a little bit deeper, darker, uh, still has the, uh, a little bit of sweetness with the, um, the orange in it as well. So it's some kind of smoky orange cedar is what you get. That is one of my favorites. And I think my number one scent for right now for Copper Johns is Lake Town. Now that one, you do get some uh, leather. There was like three that came out at one time. Bluegrass Trails was one of them, which was a collab with Ken. Uh, it was uh, very much leather forward. This one's kind of half and half. You definitely get the leather out of it, but you get a lot more cool stuff. You get mandarin, tangelo, eucalyptus, jungle moss, Russian leather, patchouli, sandalwood, redwood, amber, and musk. And no, I can't pick out all of that stuff. I do get the leather and then something with a little... Uh, bite to it, kind of re reminiscent to me of a lake stone kind of uh, scent to it is what I get. That's probably my favorite right now. Let me know in the comments what your favorites are. I, I did want to show you the website really quickly because if you're interested in that Fowler's, it's a little bit hard to find. Uh, I think they need to move that one so you can at least get the oil on with, with all the other oils. It's not on there when you go to beard oil. So what you have to do is scroll down to the bottom. Nope, you don't scroll down to the bottom. Oh, but by the way, if you do scroll down to the bottom under the education, uh, you see here on November 17th, benefits of beard oil on skin and hair. It's not really by Tyson Ulrich, but Tyson posted it on here is why it said that. But if you go through and uh, read that nice little article there, uh, it's authored by yours truly. I learned a lot. Uh, that was fun. Writing's a little bit out of my comfort zone, uh, but I learned a lot about that one. You'll actually be seeing some more videos uh, that kind of goes over some of the stuff I learned in that. But what you have to do to get to the Fowlers is go to the catalog and where it says outdoors, you have to click on that and you can get the Fowlers in like uh, bug off waterproofing wax and bug off sprays to keep the bugs off of you. But there's the oil. Uh, you see, so you can't find that on the regular oil um, page, I don't think. We'll, we'll go back and double check. But you've also got some uh, awesome um, beard wash. It made my top uh, washes list uh, a couple weeks back. You can check that out. But there's also some really good handmade soap, which I enjoy. I had the oatmeal one. Um, I enjoyed that one. And we go back and double check the beard oil here. I don't think Fowler's is on here. No, Tyson, I think you need to add full Fowler's uh, on the beard oil page. Anyway, I wanted to share all that stuff with you, and we're going to be doing a giveaway. And what is the giveaway going to be? Tyson actually sent me, probably didn't realize I already had it, but when he sent out the uh, the Gray Series butter with the polies, he sent me an oil. It's still sealed up. Uh, I already had one. All right, so I've already been into this one quite a bit. So I don't need this extra one. So if you're interested in trying the polies, you've never tried it, you never tried Copper John's, or you've never tried the Gray uh, Series oil, just put a, uh, something down in the comments and maybe uh, we'll give it a few days here uh, and we'll go till, I don't know, I'll pick it on maybe Monday. Uh, so Cyber Monday, we'll pick, uh, pick the winner and post it. Uh, I'll do a quick shorts or a video on Instagram, something like that. So make sure you follow me on Instagram. But all you've got to do is comment here in uh, this video that you're interested in the giveaway and you will be entered. And best of luck to you guys. And as always, I appreciate you watching. and We'll see you on the next video.